I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to differentiate inverse of trigonometric function using substitution and simplification of these trigonometric expressions. Now the question for us is to differentiate y equals to tan inverse square root of 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x. Now we need to do some substitution to simplify this expression. So let me remind you of a few formulas which we have already learned and then we'll do the substitution and solve. So I hope you remember cos 2x could be written in different forms. We could write this as 2 cos square x minus 1 and rearranging we can write this as uh, 2 cos square x as equal to 1 plus cos 2x, right? Now if I replace this angle x by theta by 2, then we get 2 cos square theta by 2 equals to 1 plus cos theta, correct? Now, so that sh shows you some resemblance, right? Okay. Now, similarly, this formula could also be written as cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x, correct? So, when you rearrange this, you can write this as 2 sine square x equals to 1 minus cos 2x and replacing x by theta by 2 you could write this as 2 sine square theta by 2 equals to 1 minus cos theta right so what we did was we kind of derived half angle formulas so we got some half angle formulas okay so we are going to use this to solve or to differentiate the given trigonometric inverse function. Now, the key idea is we have tan inverse something. So this thing we want to write in tan form. So if we have tan inverse of tan, we get the angle and the differentiation becomes simple. So as you can see here, we do have a relation which can help, right? So this is this is what is going to help us. So so 1 plus cos x can be actually written as 2 cos square x by 2, correct? So we'll rewrite this. So we are given y equals to tan inverse. And instead of 1 plus cos x, I'm going to use 2 cos square x by 2, right? That's the formula, right? So within the square root, I have 2 cos square x by 2 correct okay divided by 1 minus cos x is is right there which is 2 sine square x by 2 correct now as you can see i could write this as tan inverse 2 and 2 cancel so we have got cos square x by 2 over sine square x by 2 which could be written as cot x by 2. Is it okay? So this is cot x by 2. Now we wanted tan. How do we get tan from cot, right? So we could get pi by 2 minus x by 2. Correct. I'm sorry, this is square. Cot square. So you could write this as tan inverse cot x by cot t. Okay, x by 2. Correct. So square square root. So we get tan of cot x by 2. Now this could be written as tan inverse. Now cot can be written in terms of tan by using co-function identity, right? So tan pi by 2 minus x by 2. That gives you cot x by 2, correct? So we have an expression here which is tan inverse of tan something and of course that will give us the angle itself which is pi by 2 minus x by 2, correct? So this is y for us. Now I think the derivative is very simple, correct? So once we know this, then we can write down the derivative very easily. So differentiating with respect to x, right? This is what we have to do here. So we get dy dx, okay? Let me... So we get dy dx equals to... This is a constant, so derivative will be 0. 
minus there you x is 1 so we get minus half correct so dy dx is equal to minus half so that is the answer for the given question i hope recalling trigonometric functions and their identities helps to always solve or differentiate trigonometric inverse functions i have included few videos on trigonometric identities at the end of this list which you can go through and attempt few questions from your book i am anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best